And so when we talk about the vortex, what we really want like everyone to find a way of, of experiencing is your vortex, no matter who you are, will take you in at one time or another every single day. Mm -hmm. Something will happen where you will come into alignment with who you are. Mm -hmm. It might be a bird that you see. It might be a piece of the sky that you see. It might be a fragrance that comes past you. It might be a piece of a song that you hear. It might, it, it might be, Jerry talks about a time former in his life experience where he was in such a state of depression he could not pull himself out. And the harder he tried, the worse it got. The more he beat up on himself for being depressed, the more depressed he felt. Mm -hmm. And then one day, he just followed an impulse to go down and sit on the rocks overlooking a lake. Drove for a little while, sat himself there, and a family came. They were not aware of him, would not have wanted to be aware of him because he was sort of lurking and... and, <laughs> and and they just proceeded on their happy day. They were nice to each other. They were complimentary of each other. They were excited about the day. They laid out their picnic. They got in their boat. They just bead the happy, tuned in, tapped in, turned on people that they were. And as Jerry simply sat and observed them, his depression lifted off of him because he stopped facing the issue, he stopped, he stopped struggling in the injustice, he stopped, he stopped going down his list of pros and cons and rights and wrongs. In other words, he just let go for a moment and like the cork that floats back to the surface, he came back into his alignment. So what, what we are really encouraging relative to things that are this big and this deep and this prevalent and this important, you got to pull out the big guns. You, you, you got to pull out all the stops for it, which means you got to be in the vortex before you even contemplate it. You got to be in tune with who you are before you even contemplate it. And when you are, you're seeing the world through the eyes of source. And when you're seeing the world through the eyes of source, it, if, a, if a child is learning to walk and walks into your room and isn't very good at it and falls down, you don't say, get up, you little dummy. <laughs> you... You, you know that this child will find its balance and you give it only encouraging words. And yet when someone is out of the vortex and not feeling good and misbehaving and treating people badly, there's a tendency to say, you need to be excluded from our society and we need to punish you into compliance and, and we need to educate you into a better way of life. And none of that works because you just cannot motivate from outside the vortex. You can only inspire from inside the vortex. How, how are you in the vortex, Abraham? Um and honor the pain or the discomfort can't do it, can't do it. Can't and honor pain. also can't do, it. Can't, do it. Mm. can't honor pain okay pain and joy are very different frequencies but isn't it bypassing is it is it bypassing to focus on the bird or the cat without acknowledging what, well, what, what happens the emotion here's, here's what happens as you take the subject that is bothering you the most out of the equation just for a moment by, by saying, can't do anything about it either. anyway, I can't change all these people, I can't mm -hmm. fix it, I, 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 I can't fix it if I want to, I can't do it this red hot minute anyway. Yeah. What I really want is alignment, what I really want for them is alignment, but what I'm really wanting is to feel my own alignment. So you just kind of try to talk yourself into that general mm -hmm. place. But then if you will meditate and quiet your mind, when you stop thought, you stop resistant thought. When you stop mm -hmm. resistant thought, your vibration raises. Yes. When your vibration raises, you come back into the subject at that different perspective, you see. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, as, as little by little, you allow the vortex to train you to that high, higher frequency, two things begin to happen right away. The first thing that happens is, fewer of those people that were behaving in that way have access to you because it's not as active in your vibration. Yes. Now some mm -hmm. would say, but isn't that putting your head in the sand? Isn't that just carving out this little nice world for yourself and, and leaving all of the others out there to deal with whatever it is that they're dealing with? And we say, it might be that, but the alternative doesn't work anyway. In other words, you can't <laughs> go out of the world. Oh, yeah. You can't get sick enough to help a sick person get well. You can't get poor enough to help poor people be prosperous. Mm -hmm. You can't get mean enough to help mean people get nice. 
You see, you just, you can't feel pain about their suffering and be as Jesus was in vibrational alignment with their well-being. You just can't do it. You can't make those vibrational shifts, you see. Yeah. So is it appropriate for you to feel the sting of injustice? Of course it's appropriate. That's part of the sifting of the contrast. You couldn't give birth to the brighter, better world if you didn't see some of it that isn't so good. You yeah. couldn't ask with the clarity that you do. But there are millions of people, there are billions of people that are sifting through the contrast who are asking, who are putting the, the rocket into their vortex and sources answering who are depriving themselves of the very answers that they seek because they are so focused upon the problem you see mm -hmm. and so little by little you come into alignment little by little you allow the vortex to train you until until it just feels natural for you to feel good and then as we started to say two things happen you see less of it and when you do see it you are vibrationally prepared when you do see it you're seeing the world through the eyes of source you don't take it personally when source someone is is stupid you don't take it personally when so, when someone misbehaves you don't take it personally because you know it's a vibrational thing that they don't have control of yet mm -hmm. everyone wants to feel love we promise you everyone wants to feel good they just don't know how to do it mm -hmm. and so it's just going to take more who are doing it who are doing it unconditionally unconditional love says i am in alignment with who i am regardless of the situation but it's asking a lot of you to look at something that that just yanks your chain and rings your bells in a very negative way and to ask you to just to just turn the other cheek and 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 be at one with it that isn't what it is all about it's about letting yourself see it letting yourself feel it let what you really want be born within you mm -hmm. and then tuning yourself to who you really are and mm -hmm. to what you really want and little by little the world becomes a place that likes itself better but we want to say this you know in a way that you can really feel it from us and it's going to feel off to those who are so wanting to be of service to the world that you want to go out and feel their pain and wrap your arms around them and bring them home with you we just want to remind you source energy that which man calls God is standing in the vortex welcoming them in and even God doesn't leave the vortex yeah. Because if that were to happen, you wouldn't feel the disconnection. In other words, Esther will say, she said it on a pretty regular basis, Abraham, come out of the vortex with me now. Because I don't like the separation and I can't get in, so you got to come out. And she discovers we never come. We never, ever, ever, ever come. That's, that's the way all of this works. In other words, source energy always maintains the highest vibration and the greatest love that has been created. And you have no choice but to line up with that, you see. So when you look at it that way, when you realize that mm. there are plenty of people who want to feel better than they do, and, and so in your attitude of wanting to help them, you step out of the vortex into your awareness of what's troubling them, into that frequency where you now no longer have connection to the resources mm -hmm. of your source. Yes. And now that's why you really feel the rage and anger at them is because it's like whether it's someone that you love who is struggling with something or someone that you don't like at all who is struggling with something, as you observe them in their struggle, you feel negative emotion because you cannot stay in alignment with who you are as you observe their struggle. And then your attitude usually is I need you to clean up your act because I want to feel good and when I look at you I don't feel good so you need to do this and this and this and this and this because I need a manifestation here because I don't have the ability to stay in alignment with my source energy I'm just an observer and what I'm observing isn't good so you need to do something about it which is totally giving your power away right. totally disempowering yourself you see that what unconditional love is I have the ability to tune myself into vibrational alignment with all that I am. I have the ability to love you 
I have the ability to see you in your success even when you're demonstrating your lack of it. Yes. I have the ability to see you well even when you are currently sick. Mm -hmm. I have the ability because I practiced when you were asleep. I practiced when you weren't around. I practiced when it was easy. I practiced when I was in my treehouse. I practiced when I was watching the sunset. I practiced during my meditation. I practiced during the beautiful music. I practiced, I practiced yes. my alignment yes. with source and now I can unconditionally yes. offer this love of source. I got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. You see, and you can't feel that way without being there. In other words, that you you're in the vortex you're in alignment with who you are in other words and the and the question as it began is non-existent now isn't it irrelevant completely very good now what